Welcome to Pulse of Cyber Command. This is Terrence, and here's where you command your cyber life. Today, we will be reacting to how to become a cybersecurity analyst in the cloud 2024 roadmap. It's another cyber check reaction. I really enjoyed his last video, my last reaction regarding cloud security engineer skills. Uh, I would like you to like and subscribe the video. Uh, it helps the channel out and the algorithm. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all returning viewers and new viewers. So let's get right into it. In my previous video, I have shared with you eight crucial steps to become cloud security engineer. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to do so because today we will talk about another popular position, the cloud security analyst. And since the responsibilities of cloud security analysts are very similar to cloud security engineers, a lot of the skills will overlap. We said there are specific aspects that are unique to a role of cloud security analyst. Just like before, this journey is structured into several steps, each one building upon the last. The first three steps are basically the same. You need to build a solid foundation, ideally with a year or two IT experience under your belt. If you are new to IT world, I would recommend you to get CompTIA A plus certification. It covers fundamental concepts like operating systems, networking and more. Remember, a strong foundation is crucial to avoid any future pitfalls. I agree with him there. You definitely do need a foundation in information technology and understand how components, hardware, software works. Now, I didn't get the A plus. I did test for it and I remember failing it. So what I did was I got my Associate of Science in Information Technology. Now there are different routes you can go to get into IT to work help desk, you know, um, IT support roles such as that. I definitely think there are different ways to do that but I just didn't get the A plus and I went straight ahead and got an associate of science in IT and then I got my first help desk role. So uh, whatever you can do to get that foundational knowledge, I highly recommend as well. The step number two is all about fundamentals of networking. Again, this is absolutely crucial to spend some time on it. Cloud environments still rely on routers, switches and firewalls to get familiar with these concepts. Dive deep into the OSI model and LAN principles. Understand handshakes and packet routing. Spend some time learning about communication protocols such as SSH, DNS, HTTP, TLS. Authentication protocols are also a big deal. And don't forget to learn about networking attacks. This should be something you are very proficient with. If you want to continue with the certification route, CompTIA Network Plus is a solid choice at this stage. Step number three is about Linux operating systems. The cloud infrastructure heavily relies on Linux operating system. I can stress enough how important it is to learn Linux. You should dedicate at least a week of learning different commands and regularly use them. Don't just read about it, but actually create a Linux VM, ideally host it in the cloud. Connect to it and try different commands such as CD, LS, CP, MV, Nano, Grab, Top, Sudo, there are many more, so spend some time learning those. You should also understand permissions and directory structure. Learn how to install software packages for your distribution. You can even consider CompTIA Linux Plus for a comprehensive understanding. But personally, I don't think it's necessary at this stage to pass a certification. Instead, just go through the exam objectives and get some hands-on experience. For example, this GitHub repository has everything you need to learn about Linux. All right, now to the fun part, the security. This is where, in my opinion, cloud security analysts should spend more time than the engineer because your responsibilities will mostly include investigation and remediation of incidents. Ideally, you are transitioning from a regular security analyst position or have different security background. If not, spend a couple of months building skills related to security. I would also suggest you to get a certification related to security. They don't guarantee you a job, but they do help a lot. 
Specifically, CompTIA Security Plus is an amazing certification because it's frequently mentioned in job postings. Otherwise, this list includes all the necessary objectives you should spend your time on. As a security analyst, it's absolutely crucial to gain expertise in recognizing and mitigating different types of threats, attacks and vulnerabilities. You also need to learn cryptography, which includes concepts like salting, hashing, key exchange, public key infrastructure and obfuscation. As cloud security analyst, having hands-on experience with cloud security tools will be essential. You should absolutely learn some SIM tools. This can be, for example, Curator, Splunk or Microsoft Sentinel. Identity and access management is another vital aspect of your role. Understanding authentication, authorization and identity verification methods will help you control access to cloud resources effectively. Furthermore, gaining hands-on experience with common investigation tools such as VirusTotal, URL Void, LOLBAS and staying up to date with the latest cybersecurity threats will be crucial to your success in this dynamic and critical. I mean, who doesn't use VirusTotal at this point? <laughs> I use it almost every day just to check files and links. So VirusTotal is very important to understand how to navigate and use. Um, I use it at work as well. Whenever I get emails, I'm not too sure of and very, very effective. So I agree with him there. Definitely know those those things. Uh, but I waiting to hear him talk about the cloud. I'm very interested to, under, to understand his view on what you should know about the cloud. Obviously, this guy has uh, a lot of background with Microsoft cloud, um, probably more than I do. But let's see what he has to say. The list goes on. So make sure to check it out on my Discord channel, where you will also find free resources to learn everything. Once you have comprehensive understanding of security, you need to learn cloud. I would recommend you to pick a one major cloud provider. This could be Azure, go. GCP or AWS, as they have the biggest market share at the moment. Once you have chosen your cloud provider, dive deep into cloud security best practices. Learn about zero trust, identity and access management, data encryption and network security. Explore cloud networking concepts, storage options and master security monitoring. You should also be familiar with cloud-based backup and disaster recovery solutions. Following certification objectives is a smart move here. For example, with Azure you can start with AZ900. This will provide you with fundamental knowledge and won't take too long to learn. After that, Microsoft Security Operation Analyst certification is specifically designed to learn triage, incident response, vulnerability management with cloud native security solutions such as Microsoft Sentinel or Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Don't rush through this stage. Take your time and build strong knowledge of the cloud environment. After that, you could learn coding. Yes, you could. I don't think it's necessary for this role. It would be beneficial, but it's definitely not must have on your resume. Otherwise, Python will be your best choice. Gain a basic understanding of the language and related concepts. Play with it a while. Don't just watch videos, but install Python and use it for a while. Okay, step number seven is all about automation and deployment. You don't have to spend here as much time as for cloud security engineer role, but it's a good idea to have some basic knowledge about infrastructure as a code. The best tool right now to learn it is Terraform. At the end, you should be proficient at deploying cloud security related resources to the cloud. Ideally, you can do it through the automation. That's why you should learn Azure DevOps and GitHub Action. I would recommend you to create Azure DevOps organization and your personal GitHub profile to present yourself, because this will be crucial for our last step, which is all about cloud security project. Yes, Azure DevOps. I've learned quite a bit in my software app and security course. In my current studies, I had a whole class dedicated on Azure DevOps and how to create organizations and how to basically go through the software development life cycle and how to address certain bugs during that process. It's, it's very neat, honestly, and it's very organized, Azure DevOps. So 
I definitely agree with him there. I, I have some, I wouldn't say experience on the job experience, but I have had to, you know, create my own organizations, my own accounts in order to hand in certain labs and projects for, for my class. So uh, very, very interesting that he, he brought that up because it is it is something that you definitely would use in building out the cloud and building out uh, IAS and, and infrastructure. So that's very interesting. But I definitely recommend if you can get your hands on Azure DevOps, definitely do so. Now that you have strong understanding of Linux, networking, security, cloud and automation, it's time to show your skills. Put them to use and build something with it. This could be, for example, Microsoft Sentinel, cloud native SIM solution deployed from a code through CI CD pipeline. That's something I have personally done to get into cloud security. And I also have it on my GitHub. And if you are into video content That's and step by step cool. explanation guide, I have also Udemy course covering exactly this. Oh, wow, he does There are many course. options when it comes to cloud security projects. But remember, don't just make them. Document the process and share it with others. You can then even take it and present it on your CV and ultimately increase your chances of landing cloud security analyst job. That's everything from me. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like for more content about cloud security in the future. Someone in our... So, hey, Unix guy. So I thought that was very beneficial, very similar to the last reaction, but I really can understand what he means. There's a little less understanding of scripting and programming languages, but I still think it's still good to know at least primarily one language, maybe PowerShell, definitely no Linux, you know, Bash, uh, PowerShell, maybe Python. But definitely good to know at least one language that you can understand and differentiate from the rest. So very good video. Let me know what you guys think about CyberCheck's understanding of what it means to be a cloud security analyst and those skills it takes to get there. Thank you for so much for staying and, and watching the video. Um, keep your finger on the pulse of cyber and I'll see you next time.